AC Lucky back with another video. I like to appreciate y'all for watching this video. I like to appreciate my ancestors, my, my angelic beings, my angels, Almighty God, that are protecting me as I make this video for the masses people. That was all backwards and shit, but we ain't worried about that. You feel me? Worry about the message to the masses people. But don't overlook the good in yourself. I know sometimes we can't overlook the good within ourselves. We always feel the need to be perfect as human. And I think that's normal. If you feel like you need to be a perfectionist, that's normal. You know what I'm saying? Don't let that be your downfall. Don't let being or trying to be perfect be your downfall. Don't let that be your downfall because you're human. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to mess up. You're going to fail you're gonna win you're gonna lose you're gonna win you're gonna lose you're gonna win but it's all a learning experience it helps you strengthen your gift it helps you tighten up your character it really helps you build a stable foundation when you allow yourself to mess up when you allow yourself to mess up, when you allow yourself to be free, try new things, you are building a solid foundation within. And no one can take that from you. No one can overlook your greatness. No one. No one can define your success. Because your success is built off intelligence. Your success is built off failure. Your success is built off Winning, losing, your success is built off struggle, your success is built off pain, etc. Like your success is built off the things that make you who you are, and that's greatness. Never overlook the good within you. The good within you is greatness. And when I say don't look the don't look the don't overlook the good within you. When you do something, do it from your heart. When you say something, say it from your heart. When you do things from your heart, when you do things from genuine intentions, people can see that. You feel me? People can see that. People can sense it. People can smell it. People can taste the air you are vibrating in. People can taste that shit. So, everything is love. When you understand everything is love, you understand the oxygen you breathe is God. This oxygen is God. So, God is not going to have you out here looking stupid, crazy. Uh, God is not going to have you out here looking any kind of way because you are a chosen one. So when I say don't overlook the good within you, don't overlook what God has planned for you. God has something planned for you in the future. God is telling you to do that thing no matter if you mess up, no matter if you stumble over your words, no matter if you procrastinate about it. Just do it and watch God work through you. So... Do not overlook the good within you, but don't <laughs> do not do not look the over good ah shit. Do not overlook the good within you, but don't let people use that against you. Don't let people use your mind against you. Don't let people use your past against you. Don't let people use you. You feel me? So when you look at the good within you, you understand everything you do is greatness. Everything you touch, it turns to gold. Everything you say is gems, is value, is value. It's quality, quality. It's everything that sounds good. You feel me? So everything that sounds good is not good. And everything that looks good doesn't taste good. So, do not overlook the good within people and do not overlook the bad within people. 
Always see the red flags. But don't let that person pass influence the way you treat them. So if a person has a rough background, don't hang that over their head. Because it's not their fault that they had a bad, like, had a bad or rough experience in this lifetime. It's not their fault. So you being who you are is seeing the greatness within people. You see the greatness within that person. So it's like I'm going to push you to see and feel the way God wants you to feel and see yourself. God wants you to fulfill your cup. God wants you to see what I see, and what I see is greatness. What I see is a genuine soul. So, me being a genuine soul, I reflect what I feel into this, into this reality. I reflect what I feel. I reflect what I go through in my inner world in this false reality. So, this reality is a programming of my inner world. So, my inner world is... My creation, my imagination. So when I imagine you being a great person, you being a genuine soul, it's going to reflect on my oil field and you're going to feel it and it's going to transmute into your life and you're going to dissect the things you don't like about yourself and you're going to change that for good. You're going to go through a whole upgrade of transformation. That's a deep transformation. When two people reflect off each other, they admire each other. They admire each other. They go into a deep transformation when it comes to self, when it comes to the avatar, when it comes to the character of the matrix. So do not overlook the good within you. The good within you will literally change millions of people's lives. It will literally change Whoever is around you lives, they it will literally change their life. You feel me? It will literally change their life. When you really just settle down and like and tell yourself, hey, I did a good job. It wasn't perfect today. It wasn't perfect today. It was a challenging day, but I did a good job. I got the message out there. They heard me. They heard what I got to say. They, they understood it on a deeper level. They felt it. They felt God within me. They felt God working through me, so I'm good. You feel me? That's not overlooking the good within you. That's accepting the goodness. That's accepting the greatness. You know what I'm saying? You got to accept everything that comes with greatness. A lot comes with greatness. A lot comes with greatness. A lot comes with greatness. So understand, a lot comes with greatness. A lot of responsibilities. A lot of challenging, challenging days. You feel me? This is a challenging day for me because it's like when you are a speaker, they try to tune you down. They want to tune you down so others don't hear you. But they can't tune you down. No one can tune you down. No one can touch the radio in your car. It's your car. If you want to listen to the music turned up, you listen to the music turned up. So, as a speaker, you have to, keep, to continue to speak from your heart. You got to continue to speak from a place of love. Because when you speak from a place of love, everything you say is going to connect with the next person, and 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 the next person. The next person. Then it's going to be a cycle of love because that energy literally transforms. It transforms people's life. Love transforms people's lives. When you don't overlook the good within you, you transform people's lives into greatness. Literally. So, accept who you are. Accept everything about you. Be you. Because we live in the world like, it's like, bro, like, nobody really want to be themselves. Everyone look. For like I don't know They look for some type of validation outside of themselves I understand like When I don't overlook the good within myself When I accept it Like when I When I used to not See the good within myself 
I used to feel unmotivated. And when I started to see the good within myself, I understand my opinion matters. What I got to say, it matters. What I do matters. So if I continue to work on myself and listen to what I have to say, my whole life will transform and create miracles in other people's lives. You feel me? So, only validation you need is from yourself. You just need validation from yourself. You just need validation from yourself to do it. When you believe in your wisdom, when you believe in your power, I'm telling you, it's going to really change a lot of people's lives. I believe in my wisdom. I believe in my power. I understand, like, I have a lot of energies attacking me. They, they want me to stop speaking. You feel me? They want me to... Have brain fog. They want us to question what we are saying. But what we are saying is value. You know what I'm saying? This is value. This is greatness. You feel me? When we don't overlook the good within ourselves, we speak with confidence. We speak with uh, passion. You feel me? So I started to accept the good within me. I started to accept my beauty. I started to accept I am everything. And when I started to accept I am everything, I started to speak what God wanted me to speak to the masses of people. I started to speak that because it's like God is working through all of us in mysterious ways. This is God speaking. I do not exist. You feel me? I do not exist at all. This is just a character that I'm using to get the message out there to the masses of people. Like, God is using my voice to speak. So, every time you question yourself before you do something, just do it. You feel me? If you, if you like, hesitate doing it, that's a sign to do it. Every time I caught myself hesitating to do something, that was a sign for me to do it. It was a powerful message waiting for me. It was something powerful waiting for me. Something was going to come out that day. And something came out that day. A powerful message came out that day. Every time I hesitated to do something that I feel called to do. Say for example, recording videos. It be some days where I hesitate to record a video. But I know that's the day that I'm going to really say something that's going to really hit home. It's going to really hit home. It's going to really spark something within someone. When I make music and I hesitate, that's when I start to go deep within my brain. That's when I start to really trick my mind into doing it instead of just procrastinating on it. I, I trick my mind to believe in what I feel is just... A sign from God to do it. So you got to trick your mind to believe God is pulling you to do something. God is calling you to do something. And that leads to abundance. It leads to clarity. Because when I made that song, I got clarity on myself. When I made that video, I got clarity on myself. The enemy wanted to stop me from making that video because I was going to gain a better understanding on why I am the way I am. I am what I am. You feel me? We are what we are. We are everything. We are literally everything. We are literally everything. So do not overlook the good within you. They want you to feel bad about yourself. They want you to play victim. They want you to have that mentality of a crab in the bucket. <laughs> you feel me? They want you to be a crab in the bucket. They want you to stay stuck in that environment forever. Like, they want you to be stuck in the matrix. You know what I'm saying? They want you to be stuck in the matrix. So, get outside of your bubble. Be uncomfortable. Be uncomfortable. One thing I told myself was... I have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. I don't know where it came from, but I'm like, man, I got to be 
comfortable with being uncomfortable because that's what it comes with being in the spotlight. You got to be uncomfortable when it comes to unfamiliar faces. You got to be uncomfortable when it comes to new opportunities and adventures. You feel me? But look, y'all, I'm getting bit of our mosquitoes out there beating. Eh? But look. <laughs> but look, God just wants you to settle down, give yourself some time, be quiet, and just listen. Listen to everything that is happening. Feel everything that is happening. Confuse your mind. When you confuse your mind, somehow you get the answer. Somehow your words become gold. Somehow your words become gold. You saying somehow you got the you got the answers to a lot of people problems somehow. <laughs> you feel me? So don't overlook yourself. Study yourself every single day. There is no one better than you. There, there is no one in this world that can be you. There is no one in this world that can do what you do, how you do it. So don't overlook yourself. Don't overlook, don't overlook the good within you.